So today I'm getting my first pap smear. <laughs> We're about to get really close in this video, so if you're ready for that, you can keep on watching, but I'm just giving you a little warning. We're gonna get to the next level here. Those of you who have stayed, welcome to my private story, my private vlog. I actually don't have a private story and I haven't for years because I realized, one, I literally have like two or three people in my life who I would tell these deeply personal things to and put things on a private story for, I could just shoot them a text. I don't need to make a private story. I thought it'd be fun to do YouTube style to take our friendship to the next level and it's gonna be a very fun time. It's basically gonna be exclusive vlog content. Um, I don't know what that means. It's just gonna be, there's no filters for today's video basically. Welcome to my private vlog. I'll be back soon, Coda. Love you. <laughs> I'm not excited for this. I'm on my way to get my pap smear. Oh God, even the way that sounds is actually horrible. I have a lot of questions. One, what is a pap? I know like kind of what goes down, obviously. If you don't know what a pap smear is, it's probably better you don't know. It's a thing you have to get done when you turn 21. All my girlies out there, you have this to look forward to. I am so, I don't know if I'm nervous. I just don't know what to expect. This is what really made it worse for me. I was saying bye to my mom and she knows I'm having that today. And she looks at me sympathetically and she's like, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. That sympathetic look right there and her look of worry made me worry. <laughs> One of my friends who turned 21 months and months and months and months and months ago hasn't even gotten it done yet. I just turned 21 and boom, right off the bat, I am experiencing this. So this is kind of my welcome to womanhood. So exciting. If you're wondering why there's bags in the back, that's because I did a major closet clean out last night. You know when you get into those moods where you have the urge to purge? your entire life, that's what I did. So I have three bags of clothes back there that I'm gonna drop off at a donation site after. You're probably wondering why I'm even choosing to vlog this, and it's because I am so nervous. If I didn't have someone to talk to right now, I would freak out and turn around and go back home. If I'm acting a little strange, <laughs> that is why. Just like the thought of the logistics of what's about to happen to me, immediately now. Oh my gosh, I'm almost here, you guys. Mm. I came to the bathroom to hide out. Um, so I'm about to have to get naked <laughs> and put this up top, drape this on the bottom. I feel so exposed. I have never felt more exposed. I'm waiting for the doctor to come in. Yeah, okay. I'll try my best. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that is such a weird feeling. Weird or painful? Oh, it's not painful, it's just like foreign. <gasps> That's it? That's it? What the heck? Things I did, that. Well, I am officially a pap smeared woman. I don't know if I should be saying that that loud in a public parking lot, but I did it. <laughs> that was not as bad as I was expecting. I really was expecting it to be the most horrible, unbearable thing in the world. The lady who did it made me feel very comfortable. There was no issues there, which, you know, it can be kind of awkward, like getting naked in front of a stranger and having them inspect you. The procedure itself was honestly very quick. I would say it was over in like a minute and a half. My experience was honestly, I don't want to say, oh my gosh, that was a great experience. I love it. I don't love it. But I'm not going to be scared next time I have to go, basically is what I'm saying. <gasps> I told you I'd be back for you. Hello. Hello. I'm changing right now because my mom and I are going to go to the mall. I have a few errands to do and I kind of want to put on like a little bit of a cuter outfit. You know what I never understood? I never understood how wearing a bra in public is like taboo, but wearing a bikini isn't when it's literally just a change in material. Just some of my thoughts that I thought I'd share since this is my private story. I actually am kind of loving this style of vlog. I feel like because it's a private vlog, private story type theme that 
we can just be open and honest. So that's very fun. I have been in love with button-ups lately. So I'm wearing this one. I think it's from And Other Stories. I'm wearing these pull and bear jeans and I actually have a little bit of an unboxing to do. I've been waiting to unbox this for so long. Get excited. You're gonna freak out when I show you what this is. Here she is. David's tea. You might be like, Ava, why is this a big deal? I will tell you. You all know that I'm a very big matcha girl. This might be one of the most exciting packages I've opened. Ever? I don't know. It's a little dramatic. A matcha advent calendar. So there's different flavors and different variations to try out every day of December. I thought it'd be so fun maybe to do on my Instagram story as a little series or maybe even on TikTok. So there's 24 different matcha flavors in here, which is so exciting. I thought it'd be fun and festive to do my own little version of an advent calendar. I think this is so cool too. Very excited about this. It's literally insane that the holiday season is amongst us and I will do anything in my power to get myself in the holiday mood. It's definitely a little bit harder to get yourself in the holiday mood when you're older. I feel like that's kind of a universal thing. Let me know if you feel like that, but I feel like this will get me in the mood. I'm so excited. That is so good, I miss this. I really like this one. This one smells so good. I kind of want like a clean, fresh scent. I feel like I have a lot of floral ones. So I'm trying to decide between this one or this lemon one. Just went to Sephora. Just spent a little too much money. <laughs> Yay. We're at CPK. I don't know why I look at the menu because I literally get the same thing every time and I've never gotten something different, but here we are. Did you look at that? A kid's meal. <laughs> I always feel like a literal child every time I eat mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah. So good. I just got home immediately, took off the jeans, and I'm gonna put on some comfy shorts. It's the only way to go. If you wear jeans in your house, why? Raise your hand if you just edited for three and a half hours straight and can't feel your eyeballs because they're burning. Me. <laughs> I'm gonna do some skincare. I wanna take off my makeup. I honestly hate marinating in my makeup if I'm home for the day and I'm not really doing anything else. I got this today at Sephora. It's a daily clarifying peel. I really love Murad and I have a lot of stuff that I use from them very regularly in my skincare routine. And I wanted to try this. I'm honestly willing to try anything to kind of help with acne scars and stuff. Today was the last day of the Sephora sale where I get 20% off. A little retail therapy never hurt anyone except my bank account. I've been very into skincare lately. I feel like I've gotten a good routine down, but I honestly feel like I don't talk about products that much in my videos, even like where stuff is from or what I'm using. And if you want me to talk more about that in videos and I don't know, kind of just include that more in my content, let me know. This says to shape well and use it on a cotton pad. I use these reusable ones. And then I'm just supposed to sweep it on my face. That's that. Okay, very anticlimactic, love it. I will try this out for a little bit. Definitely gonna give this a go. Hopefully it works well. I also went a little rogue and got the little under eye patches. Like I said, it was 20% off and I was like, in my head I was justifying it. So I'm pretty sure these actually don't do shit, but it's just kind of like an experience thing. I love doing the most for my skincare or doing like cute little things that just make it feel extra fun. Sometimes it's just what you gotta do to make yourself feel extra good. I never know if it's this way or like this way. I'm pretty sure it's the other way. I'm gonna take my trusty little roller and like rub it in a little bit. Oh my gosh, kind of fun. This is like just what I needed. This is what I mean when I say it's the little things that really make life enjoyable and fun. Go the extra mile for yourself. It's very rewarding. I'm going to relax for a little bit, edit some more. I will see you later tonight because my social battery is dead. Did I do any socializing today? Honestly, hardly, but even just talking to a camera, I'm tired of hearing myself talk. So we're gonna take a little break. I will see you in a little bit. Hello, coming at you live. I just took a very needed self-care shower. 
I exfoliated, I shaved, I did lotion. I did the whole works and honestly I really needed it. I was in such a weird mood this evening. I got sucked into the negative rabbit hole of a social media comparison which I always kick myself in the butt for because I'm the first person to be like, social media is a highlight reel. You know, people obviously want to post their perfect moments. You don't really see what really goes on. And obviously I know this because I do this full time. But for some reason, tonight in particular, I like got sucked into looking at other people's posts and what people are doing and feeling bad about myself. And it's literally the worst feeling. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. I feel like it's something that happens when you're not in the best headspace yourself. I don't know why I was even feeling weird in the first place, but it just really sucked me into this negative mood and I was like not having a, a good time. So I finally forced myself to put my phone down, which if you're ever feeling crappy about yourself and social media is not putting you in a good mood, if it's giving you more negative feelings than positive ones, literally clear out your social media apps do things for yourself. So that's what I did. I was literally scrolling on my phone for like an hour feeling like shit and I was like literally the power's in my hands. So I cleared my social media apps, put down my phone, took Code on a walk and cleared my head. And actually I had this really interesting realization which sometimes I come to often. I'll explain. And it's that I am so small in the grand scheme of things and I say this because I was walking past this one house and i was hearing people talking and laughing inside and i was like i have no idea what's going on in these people's lives and i am just so small and we all have our own problems and there's so many people in the world and you just feel like everything is so big not as if i'm trying to invalidate my own feelings because my feelings are very valid but i think that's definitely when i needed to feel i needed to be like i am so small my problems are just like that sometimes i think about that when i'm driving and I see all these other cars I'm like where are these people going what is everyone doing we're all just out here thinking that the world revolves around us and it really doesn't <laughs> taking that walk really helped and then I took a really nice shower and now I'm cozied up I'm in my merch I believe we're having a sale right now when you're watching this on my merch there should be a Black Friday sale going on through the weekend so I will put the info on the screen if you guys want to shop but I thought I would talk about this because I feel like sometimes I don't share all of my feelings online obviously and usually I keep my lower moments more private just because it's not really fun to share your down moments and also it's not the easiest to share but I thought since you're on my private story today that I talk about it. Honestly, out of sight, out of mind, if you're not seeing what people are doing 24 seven, you're not gonna be comparing yourself to them because you're not seeing it. So that's something that really helps me is just putting my phone away, focusing on myself. What I'm not happy about right now is that my room looks like this. Honestly, it's not that bad. Literally, it's just like a mess on my bed, but let's fix that. just about to be 10 o'clock. I'm gonna finish my night by reading. I really try to not use my phone right before I go to bed. What a day. This was such an interesting vlog. Hope you enjoyed. Hope we're still friends. Hope you still like me. 